So, say in C, we're using an array, and then sometime later, we try to access one past the bounds of the array and set it to something. Now, this won't cause a problem every time, but it does something even worse, which is cause a problem at random times. Um, so, say that you're a C programmer who's been stung by this one too many times, and you decided to make this function called make checked array. The idea of the function is that it'll make an array, except it'll secretly allocate one more element, and it'll set it to negative one, and then it'll return that array. Then later on, when you make this mistake, you can call another function called like check array or something, and it'll check this one, check this number, the final number of the array, and if it's not negative one anymore, then you know that you've run over the bounds of the array and you've made a mistake. Now, as it's written, this function doesn't work. Like I've been talking about with the last two lectures about malloc, um, when you return something from stack, then this actually goes out of scope and it's not guaranteed to be anything anymore. So we're going to need to rewrite this function using malloc, hooray, if we actually want it to work this way. So first, we're going to have to change this definition. Instead of an int array, we make it an int star because malloc returns a pointer to a chunk of memory. And star, although arrays and pointers are essentially the same, it's more obvious to the reader that this is a pointer um, if we use malloc. Now, we want malloc to go and create ourselves um, a chunk of memory out in the heap. And we want that chunk of memory to be size plus one, right? So we do something like size plus one. But we're not done yet. Because if we just make it size plus one, that'll just be exactly size plus one bytes out in the heap. But we don't want that many. We want size plus one size um, chunks of size int out in the heap. We have a function called size of, which gives you the size of the data structure. So we can use that to get the size of an int. Now we have a, ch um, a chunk of memory out in the heap of size size plus one. That's closer to what we want. Now, we can access that just like it's an array, because arrays and pointers are essentially the same thing in an offset. And you can like go to this offset. And then, um, we don't even have to return this, um, the address of this variable. We can just return the variable itself, since it's a pointer. And happily, the world is not exploding anymore. Now, if um, we want to like check this, it's pretty simple. All we have to do is write a function to check the array by checking um, the array at the size of the array and make sure that it's not negative one. I won't write that function out because it's pretty straightforward. But one thing that you do have to remember is that since you explicitly created this memory, you also have to explicitly free it. So we're going to use some sort of free array function. And we'll pass in the array. And we call the C library function called free. So we'll call this function when we stop using the array. So that's how you would make a checked array in C. And it also serves as a good introduction to how to use math.